Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to do batch scheduling if you have the business version. So keep in mind this is only available for the business version. It used to be available for the individual teacher version, but unless you still have that version, it no longer exists. So the pro version, which replaced the individual teacher version, does not have the batch scheduling feature. Only the business current business version has that feature. And it is probably one of my favorite features or the favorite feature I have in the business version. Also, a teacher recently asked me to make a video about this feature, so here I am. So of course, we all know how to add a lesson to a class in the app. So I have my classes over here on the left. When I click on the class, I go to the course tab and I can add lessons here. You can still do this with the business version, but you can only add one lesson at a time, which of course becomes time consuming if you teach a lot of students and a lot of classes every month. You'd have to do each one individually. And most of our students, all of mine, have a set schedule every week at the same day, same time. And with this method, I would still have to insert or add each one of those lessons individually. But with the batch scheduling, with the business version, you can set up basically a recurring schedule. So let's take a look at how to do that. You cannot do the batch scheduling through the app. So I'm going to leave this and I'm going to go to the class in website. So first you would have to log in to your account on the class in website, which takes you to your dashboard, which there are lots of other things you can do on this dashboard as well. But today I'm only going to show you the batch scheduling. So to do that, you're going to go to the courses under the teaching tab here. And you're going to find the course name. So the course name is just the same as the class name that you have set over on the left. Since I'm doing this for my test class, my test student here, I'm going to find the course that says test, which is my second one. And I'm going to click on the course name. And that's going to bring me to this screen. This screen would show you all the lessons that you currently have created for that student. I have nothing listed here because if I go to my courses, you can see I have no new lessons created. I only have two previously finished lessons. So if I had some already created, I would see them listed here. So now I'm going to be adding my lessons. So I'm going to go to this green button, the plus create lessons click on that and this shows up. You're going to notice that this looks very similar to this because it is. You're creating a lesson just like you create a lesson on the app, but there are a few differences in this version. So notice at the top it says batch create. So right now that is off. So if I did this right now, it would just add one single lesson just like I do in my app. But if I click on this button, it goes green, batch create. Now I can make a recurring class for the student. So let's go through the things that we have to do. So first you can change the lesson name, just like you do with a normal lesson. I personally don't change this because I change them as I go because I name them after the lesson title that I'm doing for that student. But if you wanted to, you could change that to the student's name, whatever you want. And then the number right now it's set to three because that's the next one in the list. One, two, three. But if you're creating a new batch, you could always change that to start at one. Again, I don't mess with that either, but that's up to you the lesson number. This is how many you want to add in this batch. I do my um, packages by either 10 or 20. I like to keep them small. So I would do 10 if it was a 10 lesson package or 20 for a 20 lesson package or whatever number package you have. But keep in mind, you can only add 50 lessons at a time. So the max would be 50. And it also tells you how many more lessons you have available for that student. Just like the free version has a limit of 20 lessons per class, 
the business version has a limit of 200 lessons per class. Of course, that's gonna take a long time to get to, but it's nice that they show you here. You still have 198 more lessons because I've only done two for this student. Once I reach that 200 max, of course, all you would do is create a new class over here for that student, just like you did if you ever had the free version. So I'm gonna add just 10 for this. Your start date, this is of course, the date you want it to start. So if it's, let's say this student, I'm having class every Monday at six o'clock. So I would just find the next Monday that I need. So let's say starting the 11th and then the time I would change to six o'clock. Lesson duration, of course, that's just like you would do before. I do 25, 25 minutes and then the week's law. That just means what day every week is the student taking classes. I want every Monday. Teacher, I wish they had a way to set this as a default so I didn't have to do it every single time, but right now you do have to select you as the teacher every single time you do a batch lesson. So I have to select myself, no co-teacher. Teaching model, of course, you want online classroom. I wanna keep that checked. The student is on stage when they enter. I do 1v1 lessons, cloud resources. I don't mess with this. I just use my regular cloud. If you do the cloud resources and add the lessons directly to the student's lesson or course, you would have to go to the authorized resources in the cloud, which to me is pointless. I don't need that extra step. And then the cloud recording. Of course, if you want to do the automatic class recording, I would choose classroom. If you don't remember, there is a fee for the class recordings, the auto class recording. So if you don't want to have that fee, you could either A, not record at all and don't offer that to the student, or you can manu manually record in the classroom. But I prefer just to have the class and do it for me. So I do the cloud recordings, make sure you check that. I don't do anything with a playback or live, and I don't do a lesson tag. And then I just click done. As soon as I click done, all of those classes are automatically added to that student's course or class. Here I can see Monday, 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 the dates, the times, everything should be correct. And then if I go to my app, you can see now they're also added in here. So I can see them and the student will be able to see them on their side as well. So now let's say you made a mistake, which I have done before. Sometimes I forget to change the time. It's a default stays and I forget to change it. So what do you do? Well, you just have to choose which thing you want to change. So if I wanna change the lesson name, I would click on the pencil right here and I can change the name. If you want to just change it for one single lesson, you would just change it here. But if you wanna change it for all of the lessons in that batch, all 10, you would click on batch edit. Same thing for the date. I can either change the one date or I can batch edit the dates. The day, if I wanna change them all, let's say this student changed to Tuesdays. So I'm gonna click on the next Tuesday. I wanna batch edit, which means all will change and click done. And now you can see they all say Tuesday now. Start time, I wanna edit the start time. Let's say the student is changing to seven o'clock. I would just go here, change seven o'clock. If it was just for this class, I would just do this. But if I want to change it for all the classes, I would batch edit. And this one has two options, move forward or move back same time or change to same time. I know that sounds really confusing. And the reason for this is because of daylight savings. So let me show you really quick, hopefully this doesn't confuse anybody, but how they these two options are different. So move back, forward, same time. So let's say the beginning of your five classes are at six o'clock, but then you have daylight savings and your time, your home time, is going to change to an hour ahead. So that means all your six o'clock classes, if you're changing it plus one hour, when it changes to seven o'clock, it would also plus one hour. So if I'm changing from six to seven, 
my classes will now be at 7 when it's 6 o'clock, but when it's daylight savings, it will change them all to 8 o'clock. So it just changes one hour or two hours, however many hour difference that you changed. But if you choose the same time, let's say your classes at first are at 6 o'clock and you're changing them all to 7 o'clock, but if you're changing it to the same time, when daylight savings changes to seven, the classes will stay at seven o'clock because you just chose it to stay, change to the same time. So same time, stays the same time, change the number of hours, changes the number of hours that you have changed in your editing. I know that sounds very confusing. If you don't do it correctly, you could always go back and edit afterwards. So. Let's say I want to change to seven o'clock from six o'clock and I want to move them all forward one hour. So I'm just gonna click done. And of course, if there's no daylight savings, no time change, you don't need to worry about that. And I'm gonna click done. So now all of my classes in that batch have changed to seven o'clock. Lesson duration, let's say I'm changing to 30 minutes. Again, batch, now they all change to 30 minutes. I could change the teacher. Of course, I don't need to do that. Now let's say this student stopped taking classes and I just want to delete them. Here you'd go operate, delete, and I can just delete the one class or I can batch delete and they're all gone. Easy peasy. Now let's talk about students who you teach two classes a week. Most of mine I teach twice a week. So I'm going to go to my create lessons and I'm going to go to batch again. So now let's say I want to do 20. Let's say I teach the student Monday and Wednesday. If they are at the same time, this is super simple to do. So if I would just choose the first date in that series, since Monday is before Wednesday, I'll choose the Monday. I will choose my start time like I did before. Let's do six o'clock, 25 minutes, but here I would choose Monday and Wednesday, or if it was three days a week, you can choose as many as you need at the same time. Now I'm gonna choose my teacher like I did before, and everything else should be the same. Oh, cloud resources, I want to, or cloud, sorry, cloud class recording I want, and done. This is super simple. All of them are created Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, all at the same time and same duration. Now I'm going to delete these because I don't want them anymore. Oops, I just did one. See, I made a mistake, <laughs> but I'm gonna go delete again and batch delete. Okay, now they're all gone. Now let's say you teach a student, which I have a few like this, where I teach them twice a week, but the classes are at different times. That's a little trickier. So if I teach 20, if I'm doing a package of 20, I'm only going to do 10 for my Monday because I can't do a different time and more than one day. There's only one option for start time. So if I teach the student Monday at six, but Wednesday at seven, I have to do the Monday batch lessons and the Wednesday batch lessons separately. So I would just do 10 for Monday. I would change it to, oh, I have to change my date first, Monday to six o'clock, select the teacher and create. So now I have all my Mondays at six o'clock and then I'd have to go back in and then I would have to do my Wednesday, which would be the 13th at seven o'clock and Wednesday select teacher. So it's a little bit more work if your student takes more than one class a week at different times. So if they're the same time, you can do them together in one batch. But if they're at separate times during the week, you would have to just do two separate batches. So now I have Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, but six o'clock, seven o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, and so on. So now I showed you how to edit on here, but remember, you can still edit in here as well. But again, you can only edit one class at a time. So I tend to use 
my dashboard for editing, batch editing, batch creating. But if I have a student who just adds one class, they want to just add a class this week because they're on vacation, or they need to cancel a class that week because they're going on vacation, or they need to change their time or day that week because they're on vacation, whatever the case may be, I do single class editing, creating, deleting through the app. Because for me, it's a lot easier to get into the app quickly. I can click on that one individual class. Let's say it's this class. I click edit and then I can just manually edit through the app rather than having to go into here and having to find the class and click edit. You can do it either way. It's just whichever one that you prefer. And then, like I said, you could still edit the class name. I name them by the lesson name that I have rather than the name that I create in the dashboard. So hopefully if you're using this, the business version and you have a lot of students that you teach multiple classes same day same time every week please use the batch editing it is awesome or class batch class creating it will save you so much time i love it i don't know if i could ever go back to having to add individual lessons for my students it is wonderful and of course if you need me or want me to make a video about any features in the free version or in the paid versions, please let me know. I would love to help you out. Bye everyone.